I was driving along yesterday going to pick up a good friend from the airport. It was a three hour journey. And when driving around where I live, you know, you push a little bit faster than normal because you know where the speed limits are, you know where the cameras are, where the most likely places to have speeding vans and all these different things. You know where you can push it and you drive a little bit like a dick. Not where you cut people up or anything like that, but a little bit faster. Or you know the signals at the traffic light, so you push a little bit more. You don't go through a red light, but you know when you can get through an amber. But yesterday I was driving along, getting out of the place where I live, and I know the route pretty well. I used to drive it week in, week out to go to uni. And you think, that's great, I still know this route well. But you're speeding along, just a few miles above the limit because you want to just push it a little bit and get there quicker. And then suddenly, from behind you, these blue lights start flashing. And you think, oh my God, have they seen that I'm going a little bit faster than normal? Have they seen that I've been having a drink and they've actually expected it to be me on my phone when my phone's actually in the little glove box down here? And you start getting a bit anxious and they get closer. They get closer and you think, oh my God, what am I going to say? How am I going to prove that I wasn't on my phone? How am I going to prove that I was actually doing 70 miles an hour? How am I going to prove that I was driving within the confines of the law? And they get closer and closer and closer till they're right behind you. And suddenly you just really, you think, oh my God, you turn the music down and, right, I need to get things in check. You start thinking you were doing even more wrong than you were. And how are you going to prove that you weren't? And then they go past you. And you're like, oh shit. Thank God for that. They start driving right past you. And they get further away. You're still looking at that speeder like, hey, that, that was good. I was right in check there. I was on 70, on the mark. I wasn't going a mile faster. My phone is in here. I'm going to keep both hands on the steering wheel now. And that anxiety is still there. You do a little bit of deep breathing. And you start driving really well. Like you just passed your test for the next 5, 10, 15 minutes. And then you start chilling out again. Then you start going a little bit faster. Then you grab your drink. Then you're changing the radio station. Then you may press a couple of buttons to change the music going. You might look at the sat nav and change the actual navigational settings. And you start driving a bit like a dick again. Unfortunately, that is exactly, that is exactly what we do with our health. Especially as an entrepreneur, especially when you are in business, you want to push your luck and you see those blue lights flashing and it's a reminder that you need to get things in check because you had a little bit of illness and you may have only taken a day or two off your business but those blue lights have gone past and you've started just getting things on point. You slept a little bit better, you've actually focused on getting some movement and you've got hydrated. Those easy things that people let slide. The things that make the big difference, building your foundation, you've got your nutrition to a point where you can actually have a balance in your life. You can have a social life, you can have date night, but you can still fuel your body to the levels you need to focus, get your energy up and perform in your business. As those blue lights have got further away and that illness has got further and further away, you've let it slide again. And you've started... You started cutting back a little bit on your sleep. You started cutting back a little bit on your water levels and started getting more diet drinks in. Started getting more and more caffeine in there. You've let slip your nutrition a little bit because you've been on a few masterminds. You've got loads of alcohol in there. And before you know it, you're cruising along in the hustle. Those blue lights are there again. And this time it isn't a small cold. It isn't something that can fix itself overnight. Those blue lights pull you over and they slap every single fine and they take away your license. Because now you have to have two, three weeks off out of work, out of your business, losing money, low on performance, low on energy, really low on focus because you've burnt yourself out. So many people I see in business don't take that first little part, that first little glance at those blue lights as a reminder to get things in check. 
So many people wait until that second or third time. They might just bide their luck and then they get pulled over. Then they get slammed with a ticket. Then they do it again and lose their license and break. And sometimes you're doing something so bad, you actually get thrown away behind bars with your health. And you aren't going to come back from that. Some people push their luck so much, they essentially get thrown behind bars with their health. And their business slides, they start going downwards, and they quit with their health and think that that's the way it is. And it doesn't have to be that way. Now before you let those blue lights catch up with you and pull you over, before those sirens get right in your ear and that police officer is pulling you over and slapping on the fines of your health in your business, give me a shout and we can have a chat and we can see if there's certain things that are happening that we need to build those foundations to lower your stress levels, to increase your output and to increase the money coming in. But more importantly, to improve the relationships with you and the people around you, your friends, your family, your waistline, your doctor. All these things can be improved, but only if you start taking action. Not if you keep scrolling, not if you keep waiting for the blue lights to go by, not if you keep on just pushing it to the side. Only if you take action. If you're tired of those lights shining up, if you're tired of slacking, just drop me a message and we can chat to see if it's a fit for me to work with you on your health optimization and accountability. I look forward to speaking to you.